In this video, we will show you how to use the effect gallery in Illustrator. So the effect gallery is quite similar to what we saw in Photoshop. And I will start with placing an image, file, place. I'll go and pick the image, click and drag, place it in my document. Now I'll go to effect and click effect gallery. So all the list, I mean, most of it, what we see here will be inside the effect gallery. So I can click effect gallery. You'll see your image as a preview. We can zoom out and see the whole image. And on the right, you'll find the effects. So different effects, the folder now artistic, cut out. And on the right for each effect, you will find options. So you can decrease or increase the number of levels, add simplicity. That looks more like a painting and then click OK. Now it will convert and place the effect in my image. Now the nice thing here that you can go to the properties and find the effect here under appearance. So it's either properties and appearance or I can go to the appearance panel and find the effect. That means that if you click, say click to edit, you can always edit the effect change let's say we don't want that we don't we want the sketch black and white half tone pattern increase the size and click ok so you can always uh, edit or delete so just select and throw your effect to the bin go to effect and from here when you already know which effect you will want you can go directly here to artistic and cut out or sketch half tone pattern that will take you directly will open anyway the panel but will take you directly to the effect you wanted So it's a really nice effect and you can combine it in your designs with, for example, blending mode. So I can create a shape, go to the transparency and use the blending mode that we know already also from Photoshop. So if I'll use multiply, create some contrast and with the move tool, copy the shape it can be a really nice design with these blending modes and the effects.